What's up, guys? That's absolute zero skill here. I found something out that a lot of people probably would like to know. Exotic swords. It is now easier than ever to get the exotic swords. In the background right now, you will see gameplay of me farming helium filaments on the moon for the raised lighter. I do not have raised lighter or dark drinker. I finally decided to go through the quest line again to do what I need to do to get these two incredible exotic swords. I put it off for so long because I knew it's a pain in the ass to do the quest line. I didn't want to do it. It is now extremely easy. All you have to do is spend your legendary marks and your planetary materials to get the legendary swords from Lord Shax in the tower, the Crucible Handler. Now what you want to do, infuse them up to 280 light. This will allow you to unlock the quest. You want to go to Eris Morn, right next to Shax in the tower. She will tell you to talk to Lord Shax. She will give you, or sorry, Shax will give you the Essential Elements quest. It skips 90% of the quest line currently. I'm not sure if it's because it's year three, if it's because I've done the quest line once before. I can't give you an exact reason why, but all I know is I'm gonna get Ray's Lighter and Dark Drinker in no time at all compared to getting my Bolt Caster. What I would recommend, a ghost shell that tracks formations on whatever planet you need to farm your materials. In this case, for me, Moon, I was looking for helium coil sensors. I have my ghost shell that detects them, marks them, makes it a lot easier. You will spend a lot of time farming out the rare materials that you need. As far as the ability kills, it's not as bad as people think. For me, I was doing the ability kills as I was running around collecting my materials. I made it to about 70% of my ability kills just farming the materials. And all while doing this, I was doing troll missions, um, public events, to increase faction rep and vanguard rep. So I was increasing a lot of things just doing something that I wanted to do for an exotic. And these swords are extremely worth it. The equivalent to year one galley, almost. Almost. Not quite, but almost. You want these swords, you need these swords, they help with every aspect of the game. Raids, strikes, even Crucible. I don't play a lot of Crucible, I don't like Crucible. But to each their own. Nonetheless, it took me four or five hours to farm all the materials that I needed, and this was without doing any of the glitches that you can do where you set the date and time on your on console back like two years three years so there's no one else in your lobby you would be the only one and you can go back and forth between the areas now to finish off my ability kills I went to the loot cave on Venus a lot of you were probably like oh my god the fucking loot cave on Venus are you serious right now yeah I came to the loot cave with 70% completed on my ability kills. After 30 to 45 minutes of getting ability kills in the loot cave, and some of them not even ability kills, I'm using a warlock for solar kills, it would be a lot easier if I was a titan or a hunter. Probably want to do this with a titan. Really. But after about 30 to 45 minutes, I got all the ability kills that I needed, now all I have to do is wait for Arms Day. Which is Wednesday, for those of you that don't know. 
now is the absolute best time to get your exotic swords that you do not have. If you didn't want to deal with the strenuous, monotonous, annoying quest line that you had to do to get the swords before, you can skip 90% of that currently year 3 destiny. I recommend everyone who has not done this, go grab the swords from Shax, grab the bounty from Eris, quest, not the bounty, grab it, and just put some time into it, because the reward is well worth it. I'm going to get my raised lighter and my dark drinker, and I'm going to love every second of using these exotic swords. That's all I got for you guys. If I find out anything else, I'll be sure to let you guys know. But for now, you guys take it easy, and I'll see y'all next time.